Hi, we're going to Ikea. Hi, we're going to Ikea. And... It's rude. We're going to Ikea to buy some stuff for the apartment so I can finish putting away everything that we bought or got from the baby shower because right now there's just a bunch of stuff that I have nowhere to put. So we're going to get a shelf and maybe we'll see some other things too. We'll see. to park here now because the baby so we just got back from Ikea well we went eight and now we're back here so Matt is building the shelf or the yeah whatever storage shelf and it's going pretty good so far. We haven't monumentally screwed up yet, so that's good. So yeah, I'm just getting to sit down and watch because I don't have to do anything because I'm cooking a baby. <laughs> and then after we get that built, I'm going to put all this stuff away that I have mounted on this table. And then he's going to build the bookshelf, and that's going to go in the bedroom. We got this rug today. So cute. And then the bookshelf we're going to put right here. So yeah. Everything's coming together pretty good. I think this is the easiest IKEA build I've ever done. We got some fake plants to dress things up. And then we got these little cactuses. They're glass. They're so cute. And when we took them to the register, the lady was like, oh, these are displays. And we both just kind of looked at each other. And then she took them away from us and put them into like a return been but um somehow we ended up leaving with them anyway <laughs> so now we've got these we're gonna put these on the bookshelf but yeah i will update this when we get everything built and then i start putting stuff away because that would be fun to see ivy you helping come here Hi. Oh my god, you're so creepy. The shelf is built. Looks good. I'm going to put things in these. This one already has some little towels. Nice. Looks good. We finished the bookshelf. Yay. It's so much nicer than the old one. It looks really good. We even anchored it into the wall so it can't be tipped. Got photos, all my books, the Himalayan salt lamp, the two cactuses. They look good. I used to have two other cactuses, but Ivy ate them. The fan, and then we put the bassinet in here, but I'll put it closer to the bed in a little while. For now, I'm going to use it as a nightstand. So yeah, and then there's our rug we got today. We need to trim the thing, the slider thing. It looks so good in here. Well, it's a mess, but that's okay. It looks really good. Yay. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to like finish filming this video because I started a few days ago and it's been like a progression. But yeah, I wanted to just do the 36 week update and talk about like what's been new and kind of what's been changing. So I feel like I said this in 35 weeks, but I'm like really uncomfortable. And as we keep going, you know, it's becoming more and more uncomfortable. So it's just by uncomfortable, I mean like sleeping is almost impossible. I mean, I'm used to getting up and peeing a lot anyway. I feel like I had a really small bladder before I was pregnant, but now it's like 
a hundred times worse. I mean, last night I think I got up like six times to go to the bathroom and it's really hard for me to not drink water right before I go to bed because I feel like I'm always really thirsty. So, um, yeah, I mean, I get up so much, but other than that, it's just like general, just like being uncomfortable, like my back hurts. It's hard to find a good position, like with the belly. So what I do is like, I like to sleep on my left side, but I go on the right and the left. And so what I do is like get a pillow in between my legs and then kind of use that to like be underneath my belly too, like a little bit. And then um, I have like a Tempur-Pedic pillow for my head and that helps a lot. It makes it a lot more comfortable. I can't sleep with like a regular pillow. They're not soft enough. I mean, I don't have like a lot of pregnancy symptoms. I feel like some people have, oh, one thing I that keeps getting, I don't want to say like progressively worse. I just feel like it comes and goes a lot, but it's acid reflux. That is not fun. It feels like kind of like heartburn, but it's like acid in your throat. Like in, I noticed that, hi Ivy. I noticed that the acid reflux gets like a lot worse, like just depending on certain things I eat. So I try to avoid like spicy stuff and just like fast food, like that kind of food, like really makes it like a lot worse. So yeah. So as the weeks start coming closer together, I'm starting to feel, I don't know. I don't think it's nesting because I'm just like so tired and lazy I haven't had that like energy drive of like let's clean everything yet and like there is some stuff I could be cleaning so I don't think like the nesting is like super crazy at the moment but I do have like a lot to put away and I do feel like I'm really running out of time I just like I've been saying since the beginning like I felt like Olsen was gonna come early and I don't know you know there's really no telling and I mean my body's giving me a few signals that I feel like I feel like he might be on his way. I've been getting really I don't want to say really bad Braxton Hicks, but a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions and they've been becoming a lot more frequent as I'm getting closer to my due date. So I feel like that could be that's like a sign he's coming and I also like I feel his head, like I feel the pressure in my pelvis like a lot more than I have the past few weeks and I just feel like, you know, my body's like slowly getting ready and I really need to like take more breaks. I keep telling myself like, oh today I'm just gonna relax and then I end up doing a hundred things. Like today was so hectic, I did a lot today. But um, other than that, I think those are all the symptoms really that I can say for like 36 weeks it's just getting you know there's a lot of anticipation and I just feel like I really have so much to do like I need to get all this stuff put away and I know nothing will be perfect before he gets here but I want to try and you know get everything put together the best I can so anyway I'm gonna go take care of the rest of all these boxes and I will talk to you next week for 37 weeks bye